And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to a Lava 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 Let's play. Quick let's play of Space Harrier. I'm doing horrible. As I did already last time. Dun 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 dun. Yes, space area. Um, as I explained in the last video game that is was originally an arcade game. This is the port for the Sega 32. I think came out in 1990 something. They are exquisite video gaming knowledge. It has certainly come out in the 90s, so my statement was true and very informative. And I'm dead. Not yet, but I died. Dun, 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 dun. It's very interesting how this concept of dying in video games evolved all that, over the time. I am doing horrible. How it evolved. Um, I'm very glad that I get, got rid of those this game over. Mechanic. And that. So. That lives, and if you. And um, spent all your lives, and you had some continues, and if you spent all your continues, then you were. It was game over. Um, so it certainly added something to the gaming experience, but I'm not sure I ever really liked it. <sighs> but the music has changed. Dun 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 dun. Do not die because the boss, the double dragon, is about to come up and we're dead. What a pity. That was this boss of stage 3. Sega! Sega! Blah blah. Yeah, so the Kiga Fusion emulator is fantastic. And you should consider checking it out. You probably know already about it. If you care about console games. Then I actually do own a console still. A Sega Mega Drive. And also a lot of games what? But I haven't played on it for years. Probably should buy a TV adapter at some point. Or at least I should salvage all those ROM files. There's a guy um, that has made a, a project, a hardware project, for the um, I forgot what it what what it's called. Um, the Arduino. That yeah, an Arduino project project, and I died. If you type Arduino, then ROM, ROM reader, you will, prob will probably find it on YouTube, uh, not on YouTube, on on your favorite search engine, which in my case would be not Google. I haven't Google, I haven't used Google for almost a year. Shit. Of course, it was the. Uh, Revelations by Edward Snowden that caused me to choose a different search engine, and that is DuckDuckGo. But back to the ROM Reader Project. Well, you can find it if you type in um, Arduino ROM Reader Project. And so this guy has made a, a reader for... I'm not sure which system. It may have been the Mega Drive, actually. Or the Genesis, as you Americans call it. And it's open source, um, and I died again. Get ready. It's open source, and it's great, and you can um, 
download all your ROM files if you still have some old cartridges and are afraid of breaking it or maybe you want to share it with a friend. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, I know that there could be legal reasons. Um, I mean, I mean, it could be illegal to distribute those ROM files in certain countries, maybe even in most countries. I have no idea. But um, if it weren't for abandoned websites and enthusiasts and pirates, that sometimes or many times um, actually describes the same kind of person, then many of those great old games, like this game, which is old, but maybe not that great, would be lost. Sega, because even companies, believe it or not, sometimes manage to, well, disappear without a trace, or just, they even sometimes lose, um, they lose their stuff. That happens too. Also, it's and this game came out in 1985, and this has been 30 years now, almost. It, it would be ridiculous um, to pu pursue anyone who is distribu distributing copies of this game legally. But then again, it probably happens, or could happen. But I don't care. I think people should learn how to crack, um, how to pirate, how to crack copy protection and all that bad stuff. And they should also learn how to write viruses and shit. Get ready. Not because I think it's a swell idea to do that, but... Um, People should be informed, knowledgeable. But then again, many people don't. Oh. Governments or companies, big companies, they tend to not like an informed public. They tend to like a dumb cons a consumer that is just dumb enough to perform whatever job, day job that he's been assigned to. He got lucky to get, and that spends all his hard-earned money on shit that he doesn't need. And in some cases, he even spends this on shit he already bought but doesn't own, like downloadable content. Oh, so so you think you bought this game? Well, tough luck. If you want to complete this game, you have to buy this fucking DLC. Because we put half of the content... Um, we put in kind of protection so that you can't access half of the content. Maybe, maybe I'm exaggerating now. But that sort of happened. With this new... It happened recently with this... I think the Get last ready. installment of the Street Fighter series where there were some characters which were on the CD, which you bought, but you had to pay them extra in order to access that content on the CD that you already had, which you already paid. But it wasn't... Um, it wasn't hidden very good, so some clever folks found out how to circumvent this consumer protection or rather profit protection and so it, was, it wasn't that effective but the company that made this game still decided um, they, they actually tried um, 
they try to convince people, the consumers, to denounce people that were playing hacked versions of this game. Um, and I think it didn't quite work out. Thankfully, You're doing great. I'm doing horrible. Well, I'm doing okay. Maybe I should concentrate more on playing this game, actually. Dun, 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 dun. And then I was not paying attention. Get ready. Dun, dun, dun. Because I was trying... was thinking about something. And then I was fiddling with my cables. Get ready. I have two cables that are trying to strangle me, strangle me at the moment. My headphone cable and my Xbox 360 controller cable. Yes, I wanted to say something. It was probably not important. Not very interesting. Ah, yeah. So I wanted to talk about shit. Not about shit. I wanted to talk about um, I wanted to talk about consoles and console gaming and my my exposure to console gaming um, the only console I ever owned was actually the Sega Mega the Sega Mega Drive. Um, but I did play also some Nintendo, some Super Nintendo games. But that was only on a console that we rented from a video rental store. And I used to play uh, on the on console of one of my friends. But that was way back. I mean, it was probably. Yeah, the early 90s something, 92 or, it was quite early, um, and one of my friends had a Super Nintendo and I used to play on it, or rather I used to come over and I would watch him play because, well you know how, how that usually goes, um, if that's Unless it's a game where you have more than one player can play it, it kind of ends up being that one person begging for to be able to play and that other person saying just one minute more and I and that minute just turns into an hour until you are so fed up that you say that you want to go home. Yeah, that sort of happened. I actually intend on buying a console. Um, if I... Get ready. If I say to you which console you think that I'm mad, but I actually plan on buying a Wii U, because I think that um, maybe even it's not the best hardware and there will probably not that many games that will come out for it. I still love the Nintendo games and, and the sort of sense for innovation. And yeah, so I'm really curious to go back to that Nintendo franchise after all those years. The first game I ever played in my life was Super Mario Land for the Game Gear. And I was not good at it at all. Stop lying to me! And I was getting killed by a giant mushroom. And my timer has run up, that means that we will see ourselves in the next episode. So until next time, folks, until then.